Hello all. We'll continue with the seventh part of this tutorial: modeling, texturing, and lighting and interior in 3ds Max using V-Ray. So let's get started. So we have done the texturing part over here. So let's do the remaining part of the texturing. So let's take a texture over here. You can take a glass texture if you want. You can just take a glass texture or you can take any kind of a red reflective texture on it and you can give a bit of a reflection I'm assigned also over here you can give some kind of a light brownish texture over here okay so now will create a small kind of a window over here from which a light can emit so we'll convert this into editable poly and we'll add a loop over here let's add two loops over here and let's add two more loops over here So after adding these loops, you can just go into this and you can delete this part. So select this border and there is an option at the bottom called bridge. So you can just bridge it. After doing this, we'll just create a kind of you know we will create this near the windows so you can rotate it and you can just make a copy of it just click ok that's it so now the next step over here is let's do the lighting part so go into the lights and let's take a V-Ray light we'll take a key light as a V-Ray sun so we have a V-Ray sun light so let's take this V-Ray sun light so it's asking you would you like to add a various environment map say just yes just click over here let's go into this view select the light you can go over here and set up a filter color over here like a light yellowish color over here you have an option called intensity multiplier so you can reduce the intensity of this multiplier photon emit radius you can increase this photon emit radius so how long it's like the area of the light can be increased over here so now let's see the result so go into rendering, render setup and let's set it as VA, ADV and let's render it. So till now you can see a light is emitting from a window but still the rest of the part is not visible because we haven't made any kind of a changes yet over here. So the next part over here, let's take one more light a V-Ray light which could be a supporting light which you will emit from this direction so select this light reduce the intensity multiplier to 5 
go into this option double side it and make it invisible so go into this outliner and select this V-Ray Sun go into the rendering setup let's go into the rendering setup let's go into this V-Ray option and if you have an image sampler let's make it as adaptive subdivision so this kind is fixed with a camera ray trace as you can see this is what your adaptive subdivision creates you can see visual sub pixels for each of the maximum number of shading samples are computed so let's keep it as adaptive subdivisions let's go down we can take this as catmull room the catmull room is a 25 pixel filter with pronounced edge and enhanced effect so let's keep over here as a filter as a sampler go into this you can use a lock noise sample noise patterns go down you have gi environment reflection reflection you need a environment reflection refraction you can use this option over here let's go into this GI that is a global illumination after going into this global illumination you can activate this option the primary engine your bounces the light so you can keep it as irradiation map and you can take it as a light cache the secondary engine and into this irradiation map this is a method used for the bounce as I told you the primary bounce and the secondary bounce so over here for the current preset let's keep it as a medium and you can increase the subdivisions to 150 and 50 that's it so let's surrender it so now as you can see over here the intensity multiplier of this light is much less so you can increase it you can just render it so now as you can see the light is emitting from the window So the more the area you define, so let's define the area over here. So the area which we have defined is a bit lesser. So you can increase this area which we have defined like this. You can just subtract this all the elements so you can just resize it you can just resize it and this light emit so you can use this emit radius you can reduce this emit radius but still you can increase a bit and intensity multiply you can give it as 2 and just render it so now as you can see the light which is emitting inside the scene is too much so let's reduce it to 1.1 go into this camera view and use the shift key option still the light is more you can reduce this light a bit so as you can see it's going to render it
if it is required you can increase a bit of the wall height over here if you want to increase the wall height you can easily increase it the area still needs to be checked over here so let's go into the perspective view oh sorry into the side view and shift this area a bit on the top and shift this over here like this so now you can see this area the wall has been shifted a bit higher and the sunlight you can reduce this photon emit radius you can reduce it and you can reduce this 0.6 go into this camera view and render it okay. so as we are rendering now over here let's see the changes how it works out So it might take some time. So we have used two lights over here. The light one is your key light that is coming from a window and one light we have kept the other way. So if you want you can shift the scene a bit inside or oh, sorry or uh, you can shift the light a bit inside if you want you can do that and also you can reduce the size of the light so it's going to calculate it totally so Let's see how it works. Okay. So this light, you can reduce it and you can push it inside. as you can see over here we have not rendered it yet but the light which is coming from a window is affecting this area over here so let it render it and you can see the difference You might see the difference, it might take time for rendering. You can add some reflection on the flooring.
So it's going to render it to three passes, to three pre-pass. As we have kept this renderer as a HD renderer, so it will take a bit of time. So sometimes if you keep the reflection more so you know the due to the light bounce the area which is decides the reflected material you might get you know on the particular object. This is just because of a more reflection. So as we have a good reflection over here. We can reduce the reflection over here also. It's taking some more time. So after this it is going to clear all this small pixels. The jittering will go off over here. So let it complete it full. So we still have some more lighting to be done on the lamp part. So as you can see now, the stuff is more getting clear and clear clearer and clearer yeah so it's finally rendering your image so if you still feel like the light is too much we are going to reduce the light part you are still going to make some more changes on the light we are going to add one more light for the lamp and this is a light which is which we used over here that's coming out from a window Okay, so the ceiling is too reflective, so we still have a lot of stuff to be done on this. So we'll continue this in the next part. Till then, thank you.